Seems like you're never hungry these days. Open your mouth, like you just shove some beans in there. <laughs> Speaking of beans, what can would you like to dip? We've got black beans, baked beans, pinto beans, or we can shake things up with some rice. <laughs> throw a ball in the pot for today. We're gonna run out sooner or later anyhow. Might as well eat a bowl of gumbo before we turn to cannibalism. <laughs> God, he keeps getting away! <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll taste just delicious. Put that down and eat! I'm afraid not, darling. All the fruit in here has gone moldy. But I do miss sharing an orange with you. We should throw the fruit out. It's throwing the slugs. We can't open the doors yet. It wouldn't be safe. Sit me something, please. My first job was at a department store. <coughs> yeah, my parents thought it was silly for me to work after already finding a husband, but I need the space, the fresh air. Back home. Here? That's more like a cell. I was young! Why shouldn't I be living? That department store was the closest thing away from and I play a new person each day I was there. I was so many different people that my coworkers never thought of remembering my name. One day, I was playing nice. I was an angry person. And a homeless man came in. He was looking for a pair of shoes, the ones for at home. He sat down in a stool, and I fetched him different pairs and sizes of our best shoes. I even got down on my hands and knees and placed each new pair on his feet until he found them he liked. That's nice, dear. Exactly! <laughs> Do you hear that? Finish your story, dear. But I had to hold my breath the whole time. I never smelled something so awful. He had flies. Damn 
dancing around him as if he had feces stained on the scarf he wore draped around his neck. After he found a pair of shoes I, he liked, I tucked him out and he was on his way, and I rushed to wash my hands. When I got home, I showered and scrubbed my skin raw. I couldn't get that scent out of my mind. And now that fucking fly taunts me! Do I smell bad? That doesn't matter anymore. Do I smell bad? You smell sweet. Not Jacob's sweet or Burberry's sweet. <laughs> discussion. We can't stay cooped up in here. I believe it's worth taking the risk. You weren't in the trenches. You don't know what's really out there. And let me tell you, it's way worse than some flies. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the soft grass. Nothing but mud now. And the ocean. Told the side is what you want, isn't it? No. So this little world where you can just pretend to be a little bit claustrophobic. We've been trapped here for months now. You were just joking about us running out of food and turning into cannibals. Months? How long has it been, really? Weeks. Weeks. Think on this moment. How long have you been stuck here? Years. They're creative. Amazing how far your imagination will take you. And it's a shame it's the smell that threw you off. What is happening? Hey, pay attention to me before I go too. The world is waking up and it's waiting on you. I'm ready for it. Prove it. and jump and scrape our knees. I would cry. I don't remember a little scratch hurting all that much, but the tension was great. We'd run to our parents, and they'd kiss our knees, but the pain would just be there. And the pain would just go away. Take this badger from me. 